guess, has lived a life that most of us could never imagine. Nikki Cruz, renowned story as a gang leader who became saved on the streets of New York, was spread internationally through popular books, The Cross and The Switchblade, and Run, Baby, Run, which were made into a movie and television special. I want you to take a look at this, and then Nikki is coming right out. I was raised in a very abusive family that was very deeply involved in witchcraft. I became to hate my, my parents. I ran away and because I was in trouble in Puerto Rico. It was very easy to come to New York. I was 15 years old and that's when I began to roam in the street and I began to go wild in the street. And that's when I met the Mad Mouse, the gang, and I became one of the leaders, and we fought all the gangs, we fought the police. There was shower of bullets going from everywhere. I was close to death many times over, in and out of jail. New York City was a jungle, and the law of the jungle, you behave like an animal, and that's what I became. And I became very vicious, and one of the most notorious, the most fearful gangs in New York City. In the front of my gang, I was immortal. The strong leader, but when I was alone, I was the most lonesome person that you ever met. The preacher by the name of Dave Wilkerson challenged in the gangs in New York City. We never heard somebody talking loud about God like this. The closest that I went to church it was when I used to pass by and then I used to spit. I didn't believe in nothing. I started screaming, cursing, and say, shut up, there's no God. You're crazy. If you mention God again, you are dead, man. And that's when Wilkerson told me, Nikki, Jesus love you. For two weeks, I was so miserable, trying to shake those, those words, Jesus love you. I mean, in every place, getting stoned, getting high, stealing, cheating, mugging people, Jesus love you, Jesus love you. Two weeks later, I went. I went to heal this guy because my friend took me, Israel. And I took about 75 guys for protection to heal a skinny guy. And there was 2,000 people and from the pulpit. He asked me, Nikki, you want me to pray for you? I said, no. And three minutes later, I was crying like a little baby. I fall into the arms of Christ and let him love me and kiss my pains away. That night, I changed my weapon for the Bible. I began to read the Bible and I began to know about Jesus and I feel better today about who Nikki Cruz is because I know that without the help of the Holy Spirit I would never commit myself. I accept the challenge to be the evangelist. I have spoke to over 40 million people and my message there is that if Jesus changed Nikki Cruz, he can change you. Please welcome with me, Nikki Cruz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So delighted to have you here with us on the helpline. Your book really made a great impression on me. I want to thank you for personally autographing this and oh, yes. sending it to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Run, baby, run. I'd like to ask you a question. I want to know how a three-and-a-half-year-old child could have his heart so influenced by the world that he was living in that it became bitter and hard. Three and a half years old? How could that happen? Well, I, you know, I didn't ask God where he going to place me in this life. Uh, unfortunately, or unfortunately, he placed me in the wounds of a witch. My mother was uh, a witch. And my father was a satanic priest. So my mother beat me and beat me and beat me. And many times uh, she broke my nose and my mouth, my lips, my ribs, 
and lock me up in a dark little room and keep me there for two or three days without no food, mm. uh, no water. And, and, and that to me, it was very painful. And, and many times I uh, have my eyes closed because they beat, uh, she beat me so hard. So I became very hateful and hard. And, and the best way for me, which it was a, uh, that, the only solution that I thought, it was when I was nine years old, I want to hang in myself. I was that ready, committed to commit suicide. And that was a, a, a supernatural influence that pushed me and grabbed my mind, do it. And I was follow that. And I went to the mango tree. I already have one side of the rope on my neck. And then when I, climbed, uh, I, I was climbing the, the mango tree, uh, I, I was ready I, with the other end. In Puerto Rico. Yeah, in Puerto Rico with the other end. I, 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 I tied it, and I was ready to sail all the way down. And my, my brother saved me, my little brother. He began to cry out and say, don't do it. And that was the last time I cried. I cried, and that's the last time I loved. And I swear that I will never love again, and I will never cry again. And I buried that little boy. Nothing hurt me anymore. You can grab me, slap me, throw me, knock me out. Wake up in a pool of blood, I didn't feel no physical pain. Mm. But when your mother tells you, get out of my life, I curse the day that I brought you to, into this world. You are not my son. I never had loved you. Get out of my face, my present. Wow. I never want to see you. You are a failure. You are a son of Satan. You ugly. That's a life from hell. That's, I'm, I'm not ugly. That's, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's, my mother was wrong in that way. She was, so. wrong, in a, she was wrong in a lot of the other yeah, things that she the, said as well. Well, the, that, that, uh, 15 years of age, you come to New York City. How did you come to New York? Well, I got into tr lots of trouble. Uh, I, you know, I became cold, blood, calculated, executed. Uh, I didn't have no respect for life. I didn't respect myself, and I didn't respect nothing. My father put me in the airplane. Uh, he tried to hug me. I rejected him. And when I got in New York, uh, it, was, uh, it was in January. It was cold. Uh, I started running. I, so I started sleeping in the subway that used to run, the train that used to run 24 hours day and night. Uh, I was homeless. You get hooked up in New York City with the Malmos. What happened was that uh, in, in that area, that's when the gang came in, and 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 when you are rejected, because that's what the what the reason why there's so many young people that join the gangs is because something went wrong in, in their own uh, environment in their family. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that having a new family, which it was the mammals, the gang, that everything gonna be all right. Because they tell you very straight, don't worry, we protect you. Mm. And uh, if anybody tries to hurt you, we hurt them back. And uh, we have a code of ethics, faithfulness, loyalty, honor. And, 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 and I did believe in that. And that was something that I learned. And in that experience, you robbed, you took drugs, you warred against many other people. Well, the gang took life. We took life. Uh, that's the ultimate of evil. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it was hell. I mean, it was, I, I was trapped. I was like a demon-possessed man mm -hmm. that he was telling the whole community in that time, the church, uh, the church, the, the psychiatrists, psychologists, or whatever, yeah. the professionals, uh, I, I'm they, burning. They I need you, help. They had you marked. I, I was marked already. Yeah. My doctor, Dr. Goodman, told me you're going straight to yell the electric chain on hell and there's no hope on There's no in hope your life. for you. I knew I'm going to die very young. I'm going to die at the age of 20 or 21 uh, if I was a lucky baby. Mm. But I really had to say that God have a way in loving that is hard to explain because how in the world God's going to. Take somebody like David Wilkerson. If you saw Wilkerson, it was nothing but a hillbilly, a hick, uh, skinny. A skinny, a skinny <laughs> like a, I mean, super extra skinny like a spaghetti. 
And let me, I have to say this. The thing that Wilkerson did, it take a lot of guts. Mm. Because I have his life in my hands. Yes. He was surrounded by my gangs. I, we used to have 205 guys and 75 girls. And here I mistreat him. I, I, I spit at his face. I call him every name in the ex-book. I, I was vicious and violent. And this man, some way, he didn't give up. He just screamed. He told me, I came over here to give you a message from heaven. Mm. Nikki, Jesus love you. <laughs> And you can kill me and cut me in thousand pieces and you can throw them right there on the sidewalk. But remember, every little piece is going to cry now that Jesus loves you. And mm. you can never kill love. Amen. God is love. Mm. That is the difference. For the first time, I thought that there was healing in love and that God loved me so much that he really wanted my life. <laughs> When I let Nikki, that little boy Nikki that was hurt, I knew that he had a father that he never going to let him down. And I knew that life was ahead of me. And the only way I can describe my conversion in this way, he kissed my heart and there was my pain. Went away. Then he put my heart back, closed my chest, Open up my eyes, and when I wake up, I was born again. I'm a new creature in Jesus Christ. That's the miracle. That is the born again. That is the gospel. That is Jesus. That is love, forgiveness, grace, mercy. That is what Jesus is all about. Nikki, now I'm, I'm getting on. The, the, I'm so excited about your book, Run, Baby, Run. Sir, Sold 14 million or more copies yes. already, and you can go to our website and you can order your copy of Run Baby Run. And Nikki, could I ask you because I, I really feel the presence of the Lord here if you would look into the camera and pray for people right sure. now that are watching this incredible testimony and saying, I need. God to operate on my heart. I need a new heart. I need the love of God. Would you do that right now? Sure. I want to say this. And there's no other way to go around. The thing that really changed my life and can change you is when you already have given up and you don't think that anything can work. You see, when you trap. You have the right to defend yourself and try to bounce back and be a survivor. But how long are you going to be fighting this? Right now, whatever you are, right in this very moment, the presence of the Holy Spirit can be so strong that in this moment you can say this little prayer. And I know that the power of the blood and the power of Christ will come in right now and will deliver you from your evil ways. And we set you free from your sin like I was. And I'm going to pray this prayer. Jesus, I pray that in this moment, your Holy Spirit will come and with so much conviction, we take care of that heart that is so lonely and so, so involved in so many things in life. Our hearts have become a lonely hunter. And I pray that you will be the one who grabbed that heart and changed that heart and give a new heart, a new mind, and I pray for peace, 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 peace will walk in into your life, into your home, into your family. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. And friends, why don't you right now go to your phone, call us here on the helpline set, and Tell us what the Lord has done for you. Go on. Make a confession and a testimony. Right now, we're here to receive your call. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to please give another good hand to Nikki Cruz. Thank you very much. Love you. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. What a testimony.